Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. And today I'm bringing you another one of my mixed sets. And this mixed set goes out to all of my hammer wielding Iron Breakers out there. I know that you guys have been waiting for one of these and I haven't done a single one. However, do not mistake the absence of a hammer mix set for me not liking the hammer because I love playing the hammer. The reason I don't play the hammer as much as I play other weapons is because you can't really chop monsters' tails with the hammer. And that to me is like the biggest deterrent because you don't actually have to chop a monster's tail in order to be successful in Moss Honor World. As a matter of fact, you can get the tail of the monster without actually chopping it off, which is something that you couldn't even do in previous Moss Honors, I don't think. But uh, the, it's just something that I find very satisfying to be able to chop a monster's tail off. And I like to have that option in the weapons that I use. But anyway, let's get this started. The name of this mix set is Blunt Force Drama. And the reason should be pretty obvious. I mean, you're essentially going to be taking mace to face with these monsters. And you're going to be trying to inflict as much blunt force trauma as possible. Knocking them down. And uh, that's what I focus this particular mix set on. So... Let's get started by taking a look at the weapon. The weapon that we're using on this set is the Diablo's Shatterer 2. The reason I use it is because, as far as I'm aware, it is the highest damaging hammer in the game. It is extremely meta of me to use this particular weapon, which is something that I don't tend to do as often, but hammer doesn't take as much advantage of, elementals, um, of elemental damage as other faster weapons, so I just went with an elementalist playstyle. However, there are uh, a lot of viable elemental playstyles for the hammer. It's just, for my main hammer build, I went with elementals, okay? I don't actually have an augmentation on the hammer. I think I could potentially do um, attack and health regen, or maybe even twice attack. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what I would do for the hammer, because again, I don't play it as often as I would like, despite really really enjoying it. Continuing onwards, the first armor piece that we have is the Basil Helm Beta. I'm going to be going for full earplugs on this particular build, and the reasoning behind that is because as a hammer user, you're going to be wanting to be in the monster's face at all times, and any roars or anything that could potentially stagger you is going to prevent you from positioning yourself in the most effective locations, and in my opinion, uh, that is an extremely important thing for the hammer, so therefore earplugs. Then we got the Diablos Male Beta. This is going to give us two-point slugger. I guess this goes without saying. You know, increases your KO, therefore essential for hammer play. Then we got Kaiser Van Braces Alpha. This is going to um, give us weakness exploit level two. This is just, since we're most of the time, we're going to be hitting the head. At least it increases our affinity a little bit to make up for the fact that we have terrible negative affinity with the uh, Diablos Shatterer. Then we got the Basil Coil Beta uh, so that we get some more earplugs on there. We got Death Stench Heal Beta because we want to get Max Handicraft. And the reason I'm getting Max Handicraft over using Sharpening is because I don't like the time pressure when, I, when I'm with the hammer. I don't like the time pressure of having to make use of the Sharp Gem. So therefore, I wanted Maximum Handicraft so that I can take my time and really plan out every single hit that I do. So naturally, wrapping things up, we have the Handicraft Charm, which is going to max out our Handicraft Skill. Taking a look at our decorations on the Diablo's Shatter 2, we have an Elementalist Jewel, which is going to increase the damage of our hammer since we have a hidden element. Then on the Basil Helm Beta, we have Tenderizer Jewel, which is going to take our weakness exploit to maximum. We also have a Crisis Jewel. Now this one here is optional. You can put whatever you want on there. I just like having the Crisis Jewel because if I happen to catch fire or am poisoned, it gives you a little bit more survivability. Then on the Diablo Smail Beta, we're going to go for that KO Jewel, which is going to max out our Slugger skill. On the Kaiser Van Braces Alpha, we're going to be taking a Drain Jewel because Stamina Drain is one of the Hammer's strongest points. Therefore, you're going to be dealing a lot more exhaust damage, which is going to be good all around. On the Basil Coil Beta, we're going to be using an Earplugs Jewel 3, maxing out our Earplug skill. And on the Death Stench Heal Beta, we're going to be using two more Drain Jewels. Taking a look at the final build, we have Earplugs level 5, Handicraft level 5, Weakness Exploit level 3, Slugger level 3, Stamina Thief level 3, Resuscitate, and Non-Elemental Boost. Now, in my opinion, these are some, if not the most, important skills for using as a hammer. I know that some people are going to say, oh, you would have been done better by getting attack up and all these other things. Earplugs are not essential because for some reason, people always like to criticize whenever I put earplugs on a build. And it's like, well, I mean... 
you don't have to use any of the skills. You can go naked and take a level one hammer and it is still possible for you to kill the monster. It's just these, this is a set of skills that I really enjoy for playing with as a hammer user. And I'm very curious to know what you guys think about it. I mean, I think it's pretty friggin' effective. It's going to knock down monsters left and right. You got the slugger, you got the stamina thief. And on top of that, the, the friggin' utility of the earplugs and white sharpness. Just remember, if your weapon that cannot reach white sharpness, you might be better off exchanging the that stench heal for something else that you want and getting rid of the handicraft charm. But if your hammer can reach white sharpness, I like having maximum handicraft on it because it just feels better than having the sharp jewel and constantly having the stress over sharpening it. You don't have to sharpen as often. You will still have to sharpen a little bit more often than I would like, but ultimately it feels super solid. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon if you want to receive all of the notifications. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.